Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're just gonna look at a plot. It's gonna be ultimately a 4D plot. Um, the reason it's gonna be four dimensions is because we're looking at the price of Bitcoin versus time, as well as against the S&P 500, so the ratio of Bitcoin and the S&P 500, and also finally the ratio between Bitcoin and gold. That'll be color-coded. So if you guys like this content, uh, we like to mix things up here, do things a little bit differently, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, turn those notifications on, check out the Telegram channel, and also check out the premium list if you feel um, inclined to do so. So let's go ahead and jump in. So we're, you know, I'm just gonna systematically go through this, so I think some people might find it interesting. So first, and, and by the way, by the at the end of the video, I will actually pull up the 3D chart and then rotate it around and, and explain things a little bit more clear. So the first thing we have here is time. And then we have the price of Bitcoin on this axis here. And then on the Z axis, so this is, you can think of this as like the X axis, this is the Y axis, and then this is the Z axis. So, um, you know, you can think of this as, you know, that you see the normal Bitcoin chart, and then also it's moving up this way because it's gaining value against the S&P 500 as well. Now, if we were to add on gold, so now we have it color coded by Bitcoin's ratio with respect to gold. Um, and some of you are probably wondering why I'm showing this. I was I was working on something else and then I, I kind of got bored and thought this chart would be an interesting thing to just visualize and, and I figured some people might find it interesting. Um, so anyways, now we have time, the price of Bitcoin, the Z axis is Bitcoin divided by the S&P 500, so that ratio, and then it's color coded by Bitcoin divided by gold. Now. Obviously, one of the issues, right, is the price of Bitcoin is on a linear scale. So let's go ahead and fix that and make it a log scale because we know that it's hard, you know, it doesn't really mean a whole lot if if it's not on a log scale because what happens later on just dwarfs what happens earlier. So you can't even you can't even see these smaller price movements early on that well. But by making it into a log scale, you can. Uh, also, why would, we, why would we leave out a log scale on the color dimension? So let's change this to a color, the color dimension to a log scale. The reason we're gonna do this is because you can see that for the first five years, it's just dark blue. And that's because um, what happened later on just dwarfed what happened during the first you know, five or six years. So let's make color a log scale. So now you have color on a log scale, so you can see it changing um, you know, the ratio is changing all the way down from like 10 to the minus 2 and lower all the way up to 10 to the 1 and higher. So this is going from a Bitcoin gold ratio of less than 1 one hundredth to over 10x. Okay, so this is a huge jump. And then finally, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the, the ratio here, the Bitcoin divided by the S&P 500. Okay, so now this is on a log scale. So now what we have is we have time, we have the price of Bitcoin. We have the price of Bitcoin versus the S&P 500, and then we have Bitcoin divided by gold. So the price of Bitcoin divided by the price of gold. Now, some of you are probably having a hard time understanding what's going on here. So because of that, let's have a little bit more fun and pull up a, three, a, a view that we can actually rotate things around in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're going to uh, go to our, our, our 3D rotate and here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this around so you can kind of make sense of it. So if you rotate it in a certain way, you can see, okay, this just looks like the price of Bitcoin. We've recognized this chart, obviously. And then you can also easily see the Bitcoin gold ratio. So here it's, it's color coded by its gold ratio, which is also increasing, you know, very quickly. Um, it's increasing by orders of magnitude over time. And we've shown this in another video where we looked at the price of Bitcoin versus gold and versus the S&P 500. And we see that it doesn't matter what you value it against. Some people have asked me, well, why don't you plot the value of Bitcoin against gold? The reason I don't typically do it is because qualitatively, it gives you the same result as if you just plot it against fiat. The only thing that changed is the absolute value of the ratio. Um, but ultimately speaking, the trend would look the same. So you guys recognize this one. This is just you know plotting plotting it in a way that you recognize that chart. So here, let's rotate it around. So this is time. Now, on this axis, you can see this is the price of Bitcoin. 
So if you if you come up and zoom in it like this, you can see, okay, well, we first, you know, the price of Bitcoin went up to, you know, maybe $30 retrace back down. Then it had this double peak window here. Um, and then it, it ultimately retraced back down again. And this peak corresponded to around $1,000. And then this next time it came up corresponded to $20,000. Uh, and then now we're kind of in our, our accumulation phase again, just like we were here, just like we were here, and now we're in it again. Um, another reason why it's interesting to pull these charts up sometimes is because, you know, it's not always fun to just stare at the price of Bitcoin on TradingView constantly. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of good to get more of a macro level view to try to take your head off of what's going on in the short term. Okay, so you get, you get this... Um, you know, this region here, which is just the price of Bitcoin on a logarithmic scale. And then up, as we move up, we're looking at time, um, which you can see here. Okay, so then now if you look at it like this, what do you see? Well, this is price of Bitcoin moving up. But what's interesting is this is, you know, its valuation with respect to the S&P 500, which is also moving up orders of magnitude. Um, you know, and I think it's just interesting to, I know it's kind of trippy to look at this kind of stuff, but I think it's just interesting. It helps show yet again how, you know, how Bitcoin has just completely outperformed, you know, every other asset class for the last decade. Um, and then finally, you know, you can look at, you can look at it just, you know, the, the color coded scheme and you can still see it going up orders of magnitude. I mean, it, it's funny when you talk about say like digital gold versus physical gold, and I get that it maybe isn't the fairest comparison. Maybe I should just pull up what gold was doing in the first 10 years, but I can assure you that gold did not go up, you know, five orders of magnitude in the first five years of, or in the first 10 years of its existence. Um, but you can see here how clearly Bitcoin has just dominated uh, the gold ratio for the last decade, just, you know, continuously moving up orders of magnitude as we move forward through time. So, um, I know this video uh, maybe doesn't necessarily give you anything that you can, you know, take to the bank or anything. I mean, this isn't financial advice, obviously, but it's not like, you know, it's not like, oh, I need to go make a certain trade or anything. Um, but I just thought it was interesting to, to kind of visualize the price of Bitcoin in a few different ways. And I was working on, on some other stuff for the channel and I just got bored and decided to do this. So um, some people have asked, you know, okay, what's the future direction of the, of the channel? Uh, one of the things we're gonna be looking at um, going forward will be, you know, different sectors of crypto. So it could be, you know, maybe we, we make a video looking at say like decentralized finance, or maybe we make a video looking at, you know, peer-to-peer -peer currencies, um, that sort of stuff. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to make sure you don't miss those videos because we're gonna you know we're gonna look at a, a lot of quantitative analysis with regards to those videos. So I think it'll be really interesting. Um, I'm sorry I'm not your typical like you know, hype moon boy type thing, uh, but I do hope I can um, at least appeal to say more serious uh, you know more serious investors in, in Bitcoin by showing stuff in a, in a way that you won't find other places and the numerically um, uh, says a lot. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to check out the premium list if you want access to more exclusive content um, that I put on there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.